these are expensive shoes. They're not like your literally your pay less shoes that you got on right now. Oh. I don't know what you got, but these are from Habib. Oh. Your boy, you know him, right? Has he ever bought you anything? I'm gonna put my head inside him. Think he's hard out. Hey, what's wrong with India? What's that on India for? No, no. It's not cool in here. We are less than a day out from UFC 294, and I want to say one thing. Stand up, India. Stop letting Emiratis push you around and humiliate you on international television. Stand up on Shujubli. Jai Bole Ki, my Indians. Anyway. Let's get into this video. I just want to do a UFC 294 last minute detailed breakdown because my opinions have changed about some fights in the fight week. Let's get right into it, all right? Starting out with Bruno Silva versus Shara Budin Magomedov. My opinion has not changed much on this one. I'm still... Oh! Shara Budin versus Bruno Silva. I'm still going with Bruno Silva. I am not on the Shara Budin hype train. Oh, everyone's, oh, he's going to look really good. Oh, I'm so excited for his debut. UFC is scamming you. They're scamming you out of your money and your time and your excitement. All right? Even if he does beat Bruno Silva, he's not going to get very far. Guy's blind and or has some vision in his eye, but he's not going to get sanctioned in U.S. Uh, and most countries right so okay have fun fighting in abu dhabi and saudi arabia anyway <coughs> fine knee k and o straight up indian bantamweights hey indians once again start standing up for yourselves don't take fights with six foot three caucasians from the chechen mountains the Dagestan mountains, who are gonna just brutally beat you when you're like five foot six and 135 pounds. It's not worth the money. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so crap, garbage record, padded record. I know Bruno Silva got absolutely mogged by Brendan Allen, but come on, it's Brendan Allen. He's actually pretty decent. He's like kind of like a dark horse. I'm going with Bruno Silva. If either by KOing, Shara Budin, <coughs> or gritting out a decision, getting a decision, exposing Shara Budin with his experience. Jin Frey versus Victoria Dudakova. I'm going to take Dudakova still, regardless of the weight miss. I don't really care. Um, Jin Frey. Also, not wasting fresh card on that one. Still going to take Dudakova. Once again, the rules do not apply to WMMA for the blinker picks. Nathaniel Wood versus Mohamed Namov. I'm changing. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just make sure. Namov looked a lot bigger than Nathaniel Wood. You know, not only just in high... I mean, Nathaniel Wood has fought at Bantamweight, obviously. <coughs> I'm going to take Nathaniel Wood by decision. If, if this Brit loses his fight... <coughs> After I switch my pick, never ever will pick British prospect or contender again. It will completely uh, validate my opinions about that island. But I am going to take him. I do think he's going to be able to get it done over <coughs> Naimov. Losing to Castaneda. Uh, <coughs> good fight. <coughs> <coughs> I don't like it. I think my hatred of... The island of Britain was getting in my way. So I uh, picked an IMO, but I'm going to take the wood. Let's, <coughs> let's do another one of these bad boys. <coughs> the king of Hyderabad himself... 
on Shu Jubli is going to KO Mike Breeden in the first round. <coughs> hey, Mike, I see you trying to pull a C Rod, eh? Trying to pull a Christian Rodriguez, come in five pounds overweight and dominate your opponent. It's not going to work like it did against Cameron Simon on Shu Jubli. He's the lion tamer from Bangalore for a reason. He's going to tame you, buddy, you chubby lion. He's going to cha- He's going to tame you like a chubby lion, Mike Breeden. Get ready to get finished in the first round. On true, no way. Abu Azaitar versus Cedricus Dumas. I'm still taking Dumas in this one, not changing anything in this. I'm fully confident he's going to be able to finish Abu Azaitar. Um, <coughs> he looked fat, just fat, complete f- chubby, fatty. One of those like muscle monkey, chubby bodybuilder type guys. Looks like he's on a bulk, like a dirty bulk, Abu Azaitar. So, uh, yeah, taking Cedrica Dumas. I'm thinking TKO by body shot. I'm taking him by body shot, TKO. At least to start the sequence. You know, I think he hits him with something brutal in the gut. Javid Bastra versus Anshu Ju- <laughs> No, why do I keep saying Anshu Jubli? Bro, I got Jav- Anshu Jubli stuck in my head. Victor Henry versus Javid Bastra. Not changing anything on this one. Nothing's changed my mind in the build-up for this. I do like Victor Henry's energy. I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, expect it to be competitive back and forth, but I think Javid's still going to edge that out. Get a decision. <coughs> <coughs> Potentially be a very good fight, though. Trevor Peak versus Muhammad Yaya. I like the energy in the face off. <coughs> Trevor Peak, nothing's changing. He's KOing him in the first round. Muhammad Yaya doesn't have a chance. Feel bad for the poor guy. But uh, that's what happens when you come up against Tennessee Steel. All right. Anyway, yeah, Trevor Peak's going to get it done. You can tell I'm cheating. Yo. <coughs> that was, mm. Tim Elliott versus Muhammad Makayev. Weird. Some weird scale stuff with Muhammad Makayev, right? Hey, I'm not going to get too conspiracy with it, but uh, of course they're cheating. It's Abu Dhabi. Duh. Uh, why do you think Islam made weight in the first second looking the least drawn out he's ever looked? Um, yeah. He's... None of them made weight, probably. You know what I mean? Like... They're all five pounds, ten pounds over their freaking weight. Um, it's egregious. They'll never do anything about it. Whatever. Tim Elliott's losing to Mohamed Makayev in the featured prelim. Um, yeah, probably in large part because Mohamed Makayev's freaking five pounds overweight. Main card time. Saeed Nurmagomedov versus Moon Gafarov. You will never see me pick a moon worshiper, so... I still will do a blinker. I'll never pick a man named Moon. First of all, Saeed's also going to just dominate him. I'm still going to just take Saeed by decision in this one, I think. Anyway, let's move on up to Ikram Aliskarov versus the Chad Warley Alves. Taking that... uh, replacement from the pullout merchant Imavov last minute let's go Warley really uh appreciative of you doing this so we're gonna hit a blinker for you (laughs) 
I like the energy between both guys. It's respectful. You can tell uh, Aliskarov is appreciative of Warley taking the fight last minute. However, I think he's going to brutally knock him out. <coughs> Probably in the first, honestly. <laughs> because I can see Warley going for it. <coughs> So yeah, I'm going to take Ikram Aliskarov early KO. Anyway, featured fight. Johnny Walker, Magomed Ankalaev. Holy crap. Uh, Johnny Walker is insane. <coughs> I go... No. 100% with... You, you, <coughs> you can say soy cough all you want, but uh, this is a pretty uh, big card. And I'm <laughs> blinking out of my mind. You can say soy cough all you want. <coughs> you can say soy cough all you want. I'd like to see you do it. Anyway, Toy Walkers are crazy, man. I love it. I'm talking about fighting animals. Like, <coughs> so he was like playing with that massive snake. And then he was in the car talking about ripping something's heart out. And people were telling me, oh, so he's talking about the snake. No, I'm pretty sure he's talking about ripping a lion's heart out by shoving its hands down its throat if it ever attacked him. Because then he went out to play with the lions. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be saying that but before the snake? So what an absolute chad. Uh, willing to fight lions. Pretty sure he's going to beat... Uh, <laughs> Magomed on Goliath. Silly. Changing my pick slightly on this one. I think Johnny Walker is going to finish him. I think Johnny Walker is going to finish him in the second. <laughs> With something sick. Highlight finish. Flying knee. Kamarchad Uschad. Versus Hamsoy Betachev. What can I really say about this matchup? I am switching my pick. But out of due respect to Kamarchad. Oh, would you look at that? What quick blinker. Anyway, Camaro, I think, is losing. I don't get good feeling from him in the fight camp. I did pick him in my original predictions video. I'm switching my pick. I think we're going to see Chimeyev run through him in the first. Sub him. Like, walk him down and start battering him. And then sub him or something. Like, take him down the second he gets... Like, Chimeo's going to seize that opportunity. Take him down, I think he's going to sub him. Kamara's not going to deal with the chain wrestling. So, I was coping in the build-up to this. Uh, Chimeo is going to run through him. It's going to be another uh, short-notice fucking fight for Chimaev and watch him get the title shot against it. Pretty sick. I don't mind it. Let's see Chimaev or Strickland on a camp. Full notice. No shenanigans in the build-up to that fight. I'm here for it. I'd honestly rather that than Kamaru versus Strickland rematch, you know, at this point. So that's cool with me. Whatever. Last fight, main event. Dude, Alexander Volskolovsky's going to embarrass Makachev. Makachev has such a weak mind, and so does everyone on his team. Constant excuses, constant nonsense from them. They're annoying at this point. It's cringe. The fans are annoying at this point of them, just constantly glazing them and, like, insulting Volk for no reason and stuff and making up all these, like, nonsense excuses about Volk being heavier. Yeah, right. Hey, Islam, you cheated, buddy. There's zero way you look like that on the scale without <coughs> <coughs> cheating. He's not 155 pounds when he made weight. He doesn't make weight early, and he looks like complete death. He's not 155 pounds looking like that. You can cope all you want. Islam sells in the in the uh, comments. He's a cheater, and Volk's still gonna whoop him. Maybe TKO him. I'm taking Volk by dominant decision. Dominant four one decision. Maybe even winning all five rounds. Completely breaking Makachev early. Makachev 
such a weak-minded fighter. He's not a champ. He doesn't have a champion's mentality. Sorry, cop all you want about it. That's what the blinkers are telling me. Remember, I didn't do one for the first video. I said, oh, Volkanovski's moon chart can tell me everything. Well, apparently it lines up with <coughs> what the blinkers tell me. I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you like it, drop a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I post a wide variety of content. It's not all blinker-focused prediction videos. Bunch of st stuff. Go check it out. Appreciate you all. I'd like to give a big thank you to everyone who watches my videos, as well as all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thank you to all my Lion Tier members. Coltis Gordon, Uniform Down, Ninja Choke, Mexican Gnome, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Cobra Kai, Pigger, Strap Droxen, Patrick Hall, Droid C, John Paul Dehoria, Sam Alcatraz, Palpadank, Calico, and Jack Clash. Dime, papi. Dime, mami.